Oh, she How you doing, mate? How do you like to hear about some good old juicy bugs? <laughs> you know, now this what I, I'm just going to talk to you just for a few minutes. Uh, basically, this, this is about, about food uh, in the wild, okay? Now, some of you, if you don't, if you're kind of little on the squeamish uh, a little bit, then you can turn this off onto another video or whatever. Because uh, I'm just going to talk a little bit about food in the wild, uh, just for a few minutes. And uh, anyway, now the thing is, let me ask you, how many of you have it? grasshoppers or crickets mm, maybe a couple out there okay well see the thing is uh, did you know all right and I'm talking to you brothers uh, who are in Christ all right uh, now did you know that in the Bible that that is also considered healthy uh, it's, it's a, a food it is kosher it's that's locust or we call them grasshoppers. That's what we call them down here down south. You need to say grasshoppers, man. Um, you know, and crickets. And there's a few other bugs in there uh, to boot. But, uh, but I want to focus on those two, okay? See, I'm not talking about eating them raw. Now, have I ever ate one? Uh, just went out there and took his head off and popped them in my mouth? Nah. But I've cooked those puppies. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You saute them and cook them in butter, you know. And uh, maybe if you want to, you can even add a little seasoning if you want. But you don't need to. They have like their own seasoning. It tastes really good. Okay. See, most thing times it's it's getting past the psychological thing because you know you're talking about bugs. Leave that bug alone, Bobby. Yeah, nasty. Leave that alone. And you know, quit that. Oh, nasty. Susie, leave it alone. <laughs> you know, that's what our parents had taught us, you know, about bugs, you know, and things. Well, you well, know, rightly so they should have done that, because if otherwise we'd have been grabbing every kind of bug there was, even the ones that was deadly, and we would have probably been killed dead, <laughs> more than likely, or had our hands and arms rotted off and what have you and this and that. But just remind you, uh, I'm a reminder that those creatures the uh, grasshoppers and uh, crickets now they are they they do should I say uh, have protein okay and they are healthy okay but an advice take the heads off okay and take the back legs off but they are really good <laughs> and um, now there's other insects out there that uh, are full of protein. You know, and if you cook them, they taste pretty good. Uh, even worms, they say earthworms are pretty good. But a little secret: you got to put them in water, let them soak, so and get all that stuff uh, flushed, that dirt and stuff flushed out of them. But you can cook them and and you know, or, or just dry them out and eat them and what have you. You know, and all that. But see, these are, you know, but there's all kinds of things out there for uh, protein. So now this is something to remember if you're ever out in the wilderness and you're hard put for food, is you got to get past the thinking part where, you know, like, ooh, nasty. No, man, it creeps me out. Because trust me, uh, now that you have this little tidbit of knowledge concerning uh, insects, you can, all right, which this is a very small tidbit that I was giving you. Uh, you can go out and find books on them, okay? Uh, so this is just was only a little tidbit, but see the thing is also is if hard put to it and uh, faced and either eat them or starve to death, or just think, there it is. And you got protein. Yes, which is good for you. All right, so a little information there that I throw you away, and uh, don't think so bad about it. 
I mean, think about it. I mean, I'm telling you, they're good. And there's other people who's ate, uh, who has ate them, ate them, who has eaten them, <laughs> and can tell you that they're pretty good. And you can also, a uh, little FYI, uh, you can take them and you can fry them up and you can grind them, you know, into a, a powder. Mm, okay? You grind them up into a powder and you can use them for a seasoning. I'm not joking. You can use it uh, for a seasoning on your, your soups, uh, whatever, meals or whatever you want. To, you know, it's, it's good. So, okay. A little FYI. There, a lot of FYI. <laughs> there for you. And think about it. So, and remember one thing. Always treat others as you would have them to do unto you. And to, to love each other as God has loved you. Okay? Shalom and ha-ho.